Hello everybody, this is Janneke Öynes. I'm at the Wellbeing Festival again live, sending live from here. And today I'm sitting now with Lili Bendris. She's a medium and she's uh, very well known in Norway from a TV series that's called The House of Spirits. And she's an author, she's traveling the world, she's doing light language and she just had a talk. And we're going to speak about what came forward in that talk today. Hello Lily, how are you doing? I am doing fine, thank you. So tell us about this talk that you just had. What did you present for uh, for the audience? Like what did you talk about? You know the thing, uh, Janneke, is that when I am on stage, I have no control. So I never know in advance what I'm going to talk about. So it's like I connect and I take over. So basically I told a bit about my own story, my own journey coming to the place I am today and the understanding that there are the other side when we die we go to the other side but also the star family which is my direct now connectors and that has become more and more important for me even if I am in a television program called yeah the, the house of spirits the house or of spirits yeah. but it is the amazing experience for me to be part of a much larger community a connection that has been so valuable for me and basically today they came they talked about the importance of daring to show yourself for the world who you are daring to stand in the lamplight daring to say that you love yourself and being conscious about the theme of loneliness because the western world they talked about the western world so many lonely people and that we have to change that because no touch nothing near it destroys us and uh, basically it was very much importance on the subject of sharing seeing other people give each other a hug when you go on the street look at somebody and be conscious, don't just like sleepwalking past people in your own world. Be conscious, be alive and be present and see other people. So it was very basic information. And then, of course, they were talking about the great polarity playing itself out and how easy it was to go into fear and hopelessness and how we are a tsunami. The light workers are a tsunami and we have to put all our energy in for hope and the future that we want to create for ourselves and our children. It's so easy to feel that I can do anything. I am alone, I can do anything. Yes, you can, because each little puzzle, each little bit affects the whole. And we are to work now with the wave of consciousness and hope and prosperity and a way of understanding ourselves, not only as earth people, but ourselves as star people as well half earth, half star, and now they're coming together. They're coming together. And the language of light, which came to me in Sedona as a big surprise, that is also part of my journey now to share that, because I see every time I speak this beautiful language, people start to cry. They have reactions, something happens with them. So that have given me the confidence to go on in, in big events and actually talk it. And more and more people around the world are talking it. And so many sending me emails that, you know, after I was at your, your workshop or after I was at your speak, I, I start to talk it myself. It's like a virus. And what is it? A good virus. It's a very good virus. It's healing language. It's healing language. Yeah, because what is a language of light? It sounds beautiful in my ears, but what is it exactly? For me, it is the language of our creation. It's the language of the stars that we have inhabited, that we have lived on. And I started with speaking one. I'm now speaking three different languages and it is a remembrance and it activates your dna the one that is sleeping the one they say is waste junk dna for me this frequencies of the language is activating the dormant dna 
and help us to awaken to telepathy, to healing, to transmissions in our own way. So for me, it's a cosmic, it's a cosmic healer that it's like I think there was one language and then it was split up to several languages and when there was lang they told me my my beautiful beings I said you know Lily in the beginning there was one language and everybody understood each other and then the big wave came and people were separated from each other it says so in the Bible as well, in a way. Yes, it's the Tower of Babel. And they said that when people again start to live, they had forgot their basic language. They took up broken pieces of it and they created a myriad of different languages. Now you are going back to the one language, but it has many different intonations and many different words. But in reality, it's one that is split up as we as one soul became many something with the with the dynamic of that language that create unity away from polarity and like they say it's a great cosmic choir and uh, and you sing only one tune you you Lily when you speak your language it's one tune others speak another tune and become this cosmic choir because everything started with sound resonance and sound vibration and there's something in this language and they also told me that is something going on with the pyramidic structure on planet Earth now. That when you resonate within the sound of the language, many, when many enough of you do that, the pyramids will start to sing to you. Then the pyramids will sing to you? Yes. And what happens now in the pyramid of Bosnia? There is a sound coming out from the top that I do not understand what is. But this sound is dormant in all the other pyramids. And when we start to sing, when we start to be who we are and start to give our tone, our words and our frequency, our energy, then the great activation will start and the stargates is opening again. The stargate is out there, the stargate is within every atom of our body. So we are the stargates. So it's fascinating. So the pyramids will in a way get alive again because I yes. feel like they're alive and they're, yes. they are dormant. I've heard that before. Yes. And then this will activate something that will connect us to uh, the galactic family yes. again? Yes, okay. yes, absolutely. So who are you in contact with like galactically? Like is there a specific race? Yes, there are actually three different races that I'm connected with. Uh, one is within the um, Andromeda galaxy, that was my first connection. I saw myself in the future, life, many thousand years into the future, and I was taken there, and they look absolutely like humans. They are no insect, it, they look like us, and we look like them. And uh, they have bypassed the, um, the polarity. They are in a higher frequency and they incarnate back into their past to help move humanity forward into a more collected love being species. And uh, the other was from Vega, the Vega system. Very interesting. Uh, I did not see myself as such, but I was given information about their life there, the way children were born, the way love is um, is functioning physical love and uh, and it, it's it's really fascinating and how politic works and that was the most amazing because uh, we have look at United States of America now polarity polarity and we believe this and we believe that and then I was taken to a place where huge huge like a computer system could look like a computer system and every thought of every being on that planet were fed into the great computer of their desires, what they thought was right. So it was not a vote as we vote because you cannot lie. You cannot, every truth comes out, it goes directly into the computer and that's the true democracy. You had like a vision, you saw that? I saw that, I was taken there. I was taken there in my light body, I was taken there. And they showed me this huge, huge constellation. It was like 
it was technical and yet not technical. It was like a myriad of vibrating colors, like it was a life form in itself. And they said, this is the only way, because when we know all of you in the thoughts, even the thoughts that you will not admit for yourself are there, then true democracy, then every being has their voice. And that for me was, <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> Awesome system. Awesome wow. System. <laughs> so this is the way they teach me. Wonderful. Yeah. And you're doing a talk tomorrow and Sunday as well here? Uh, Sunday I am not here. I have a big event that I have to go to. Uh, so tomorrow I have a new speech. Mm. But new messages. We will actually have a talk at the same time, so I won't get to see you. Yes, <laughs> yes, yes, absolutely. But it was a lovely speaking yeah. to you again. Thank you so much. Thank you, Yannicka.